with that i will uh, get started with our first slide which shows the different types of uh, reinforced concrete two-way slab systems that we can design by chapter 13 of aci 31811 uh, before I uh, well let, let me let me go in and then I will say what I was about to say the uh, original slab system if you like was a, a slab supported on beams on all four slides all four sides as shown in the top left hand picture this is what was built uh, early into the last century and uh, served us well uh, but uh, in the 1940s the column line beams began to disappear mainly for reasons of homework simplicity and that then gave us the slab supported directly on columns which we call the flat plate now the uh, flat plate system gives you the shallowest story height of all the slab systems possible in any material of construction and that is a huge uh, advantage so flat plates are extremely popular around the country the the formwork is simple and is the shallowest slab system now uh, the problem with the flat plate is as you as the span gets longer or the load gets heavier or 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 both of these happen at the same time we have problem with two-way shear or punching shear around the columns uh, to uh, uh get around that problem the slab is quite often locally thickened around the columns creating what we call drop panels and when a slab is equipped with drop panels we call it a flat slab and not a flat plate anymore now this is kind of our terminology that we have used for a long time uh, a flat slab obviously does not have a flat soffit so in in that sense it's kind of a misnomer uh, many people not familiar with this terminology think of a of a, of a the flat soffit when we talk about flat slabs but 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 somehow we we have used this terminology pretty consistently for a long time for the same reasons of uh, punching shear the column top would quite often be flared as shown in the picture creating column capitals as they are called you will see them in parking structures not so much in residential buildings and 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 buildings of that kind uh, in in any case the uh, capital is part of the column not part of the slab so it does not change nomenclature we we will still a, a a flat plate supported on columns with capitals would still be called a flat plate and then the final slab system shown is a two-way ribbed system uh, for structural purposes you can think uh, uh like this uh, we we take a uh, flat plate and remove some of the tension concrete which does not do anything for us anyway just adds to the weight and the load and and if you can do that you will have a rift structure which will be more efficient and will take us to longer spans more efficiently uh, obviously we do not construct these uh, so-called waffle slabs uh, uh, the way i <laughs> indicated there are pan forms for rent available for rent around the country uh, that are put on a flat soffit and and that's what creates the rib structure uh, be that as it may the concept is what i told you that that the tension concrete which we will not 
utilized in any case is simply not there. Uh, typically, the slab is uh, solid directly on top of the columns for the reasons I already stated, the reason being punching shear.